Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review on this Ninja Prestige Smart XL Air Fryer and Countertop Oven. So there was a bunch of packaging materials. You want to make sure you get all the plastic off. There was some cardboard. We had a box with all of these pieces in it now. So let's take a look at the inside. Each one of these trays is, levels is going to be a different level. So this is one, two, three, four. That's going to come into play when we have these different functions. So the display is here, you turn it on, we go through the different functions with this button and this will light up. And then, oh wait a minute, that's time. So you can do different functions and you'll see the different levels are gonna change and even on some, on some we can change the levels ourselves, but on some we can't. So I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but let's first, let's go through this. This is the air fryer basket. So it slides in there. These are just uh, standard trays. This is for baking. It's got like a non-stick surface on it. Now we get two of those, and now we get this thing to reduce smoke. So we want to peel this off. It's recommended for baking. It's got some serrations in it. It's gonna let the grease go down to the bottom, but still cook the food. Yeah, we got two wire racks. Now this is like a, a crumb tray. You can clean this. And we've got two infrared heaters on the bottom two on the top, or actually three, I'm sorry. Three on the top, and then that's the air fryer um, fan. And sometimes, you know, the fan works for other modes too. But let's get some measurements real quick. So let's put a tray. So the maximum that you can put in here. All right, looks like front to back. About 11, 10 and a half inches. You know, overall it's about 14, but with the tray it's about 12 and a half. All right, let's try to get the maximum. The biggest chicken you could put in here is, looks like about almost seven and a half inches. You could go to eight, but that's really close. You know, you probably want to stay somewhere around seven or six. Now this thing you can do cooking on the top and the bottom. So let's put the air fryer in, you know, with that one in, now you're looking at about five. And with the air, with the basket in the top, about two and a half. Now you got, you're in charge of the time. So say your chicken takes, you know, 30 minutes to cook. You don't want to put the, like the carrots or the broccoli in at the same time. The last 15 minutes, you'll have to put the broccoli in. So you don't put it in at the same time, but you can cook them at the same time. Yeah, the manual gives you a chart of the rack levels, they call them, starting at the bottom, one through four. Okay, now the display. Power button, that's also the handle. It looks really nice. We got a start, stop button. So the first thing you're gonna do is the function, and you're gonna pick what function you want. So let's say you're doing a whole roast. It's gonna default the tray one. That's where you should put the food, in tray one. Now, if you can do a tray two, it'll, you press the level two, now you should put it in four. So on whole roast, put the whole roast in tray one and the vegetables or whatever you're gonna cook in tray four. That's the only options you have. Now you don't have to put anything in four. Now let's go to the next one, air roast. Again, everything should go on three. So you open this up and you should cook the food on three. That's gonna, it, because the fan and everything is designed for that function to heat the food the best on three, not four. So it's important to follow those rack levels. Now, you, again, you could put something in one and three, but you're probably just gonna have something on one. Let's go to air fry. Air fry is three. We can do two and four. So you can, this is kind of a neat feature. They all don't have this. In air fry, I can do double air frying. I could air fry something on two and four. Now, I only have one air fryer basket, so it would have to be maybe in here or something, but I could air fry on two levels but probably just on one level. I'm gonna put that air fryer basket on rack three. Bake, three and one you can do. Dehydrate, two and four, so broil. No, and when it beeps at you, you can't do any other level than what it says. Toast, level three, I can't do any others. Bagel, pizza, I can do one and three or three and reheat, three only. And then these buttons are for time on the slices and time and shade for toast. 
and then you can also change so let's go let's go to air fry so I can also change the temperature the time I can go up to 450 degrees all right and the time I can change the time and then I just hit start and it's gonna start working it's that simple that does have a light you can turn the light on and off the light does come on automatically and starts and stops automatically when you open and close the lid Around back, it's hard to tell where the air is coming. I can feel air coming in. It is 1,800 watts. And the cord is three prong. It's angled, I like that. And it's about 40 inches long. So there does seem to be some air coming out here. It's pretty hot. Yeah, right around here. That's where the hot air is coming out. Overall height wise, 13 inches. Left to right, 17. Front to back is gonna be a little trickier because of how much it sticks out the back. 18, you know, 20, but the handle does come down. And if it comes all the way down, you need almost 30 inches. So there's lots of possibilities with cooking with this. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.